Hi, my name is Ahmed Adil and I'm here with me Ahmed Bilal. Today we will talk about the NetCom protocol. We will start with the NetCom protocol stack overview followed by the demo. So what is NetCom protocol? NetCom protocol is an IETF configuration management protocol. But why NetCom? Why another protocol? Why can't we use the existing protocol like SNMP? If you look at the RFC 6535, it is talking about the next gen management requirements, which includes ease of use, human readable, automation, etc. And this is all available in NetCom protocol. For more details, please look at the RFCs I have mentioned here for reference. Now you know the background of NetCom protocol, so let's take a look at the NetCom protocol stack. The NetCom protocol stack consists of four things transport, messages, operations, and content. Transport is as such because it is secure, reliable, session oriented, so why we invent a new wheel? Messages are based on remote procedure call RPC, and you can call the RPC manually through script, controller, SCOM, etc. Using NetCon, you can perform various operations like get config, edit config, or commit the configuration from candidate database to running database. Yes, we do have multiple data stores in NetCon. I'll talk about it shortly. The content of NetConf is based on XML schema. There are four data stores in NetCon. Running database is the mandatory one and rest are optional. In summary, NetConf protocol transport based on LSS, messages based on RPC or RPC reply, operations could be get config or edit config, etc. And client server communication will be in XML. Before I jump into a demo, I just wanted to show you the configuration will be required on ASA 9K to act as a NetConf server. Let's tell it. Let's take a look at the demo. Let's tell it to the XR device and take a look at the running configuration quickly. As you can see, only few commands will be required to enable the NetConf server functionality on ASA 9K. The interface gig 000 configuration shows a description to iOS XR v 2 and interface state is no shutdown. Let's establish a NetConf session with ASA 9K and modify the interface configuration quickly. As soon as you enter the LSS command, you will get the hello message in XML format from server. Let's examine the message line by line and send the hello message in XML content back to server to complete the server client handshake process. The hello message is showing the server capabilities following by the session ID. In order to complete the handshake process, Copy the exact hello message minus the session ID and paste it in the NetConf client window. Now the handshake process is complete. Next, we are going to modify the interface gig 0000 configuration specifically interface description and interface state using the edit config operation. All NetConf, NetConf operation methods are standard and can be seen in NetConf RFC. As you can see here on the screen, I'm showing the edit configuration format, which I have taken from the RFC. As you paste the RFC message, RPC message in the client window, you will get the RPC reply saying, okay. If server accepted the command, finally, we can verify the config change by telemetry to the device, or we can also use the get config operation to get the interface configuration and verify that it is made with the edit config operation. As you can see, I'll tell it to a device and you can see now my description and the state are changed. Description showing NetCon demo to SP segment solution team and interface state is shut down. We can get the exact same thing from the get config operation. I've already written the get config uh, code from the RFC, again, NetCon RFC. So I'm just saying, give me the running configuration and filter it based on interface. So I will get the interface gig zero zero config. Let's copy paste the configuration. You can see you can you'll get the configuration. Now copy paste this configuration into the notepad and take a look at it line by line. Just note down the IP address mentioned here and note down the interface and the description. I'll show you the exact same interface you can see by telemetry to the device. That is all I have today. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you next time. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.